Hello y'all. Give me a second to get started. I'm just going to do some more 3D coat stuff. Just thought I'd go live. So let me go ahead. Hello y'all. Oh, hold on. Got it on my phone. I want it to echo. <clears throat> Alright, so let's go ahead and switch it up. How's everyone doing? I know a lot of you guys are probably at Comic-Con doing Comic-Con stuff, which is good. Meeting artists, talking to others, hanging out, having a good time. Um, I plan on going this year, uh, or I had plans on going, uh, but I don't know if I'll be able to actually. And what I mean by that is I don't know if I'll be able to just go and uh, hang out and, you know, enjoy the event. Because normally I go and I walk around and do all that kind of fun stuff. Hey, what's up, James? How you doing? Um, but I know, like, it might not be the best idea since I need to, like, just keep working and get some rest. Like, I need to start sleeping. I usually sleep on the weekends. And usually if I have an event planned, I try to plan ahead for it. Uh, but I did not plan ahead or anything. So... I shall not attend this year, probably. And if I do go, it's probably only going to be for, like, a uh, an evening. You know, go say hi to some people that are down here. You know, a lot of people travel outside of the... Or travel from, you know, different parts of the world uh, that I don't get to see often. And so it's kind of cool to see them when they're here. Hey, what's up, Franco? You're not at Comic-Con? No. Nah. Hey, what's up, Henry? Hey, what's up, Alex? Good to see you guys. So again, more 3D Coats experiments in playing. Uh, I've been messing around with the sculpting a little bit more. Now, I've done a few things here and there, but nothing that I felt like was that could be a, you know, a full-on character or creature. More like, more like it. And now that I've been messing with it a little bit more, I feel a little more confident with it. But I still don't. thought I'd share that experience until I feel like it's something that I can talk a little bit more about. But from what I gathered, I realized that if I use... turn this into surface mode, it's pretty useful. But again, I need to figure out the pros and cons. Right now it's not in surface mode, and so it's really nice to just get some of the features in, and then I'll just go ahead and design outside of that once I have the features in here. What's up Justin? What's up Billy? Hey, what's up Nick? Good to see ya. Yeah, I miss, I miss some of you guys, Alex and Nick. Gotta hang out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get the art mixers going again up in, in August. I think August is when I start doing it again and try to keep them going. I'm gonna have some in LA too. Oh, I've been talking with uh, John Park a little bit about it and he says it's a good idea and I think we're going to try to work together on it but uh, nothing official even if uh, for whatever reason he's, he's a pretty busy guy for whatever reason if he's too busy I'll still try to make it work I mean even if it's just something small where people we just get gather around like a place and just sketch <laughs> what's up Melvin what's up Lewis yeah, we gotta finish playing Uncharted. That's true. That's fun. I still have uh, Uncharted. Like, uh, I have not beaten it. And that's the only Uncharted I haven't beaten. And I've beaten all of them. Like, the day of the release. But I think it's because I'm so busy. But that should be changing in August. In August I should be having a lot of my time back. And I'll be able to start getting stuff done. Finally. It's been like it's been the last several months trying to get back into this position. And I think it's time. All right, so let's just go ahead and switch it up. Let's go to surface mode. Now, what I discovered about surface mode is that all the stuff that you actually kind of need are in the presets. And we'll move the presets up here actually, and then they have pretty good presets, and a lot of them genuinely act and behave like the kinds of stuff that you would expect in ZBrush, which is cool. And then the, the, the lighting in here 
the lighting room is really nice actually and I'll show you guys I'm just gonna make some grotesque looking monster as I like to do who else destroyed what's up Eddie did you stop using ZBrush no not yet not entirely I'm still using it Juan uh, yeah, I have tried it yes I have I've tried Quixel Suite it's alright Nick, man talking about games, excited for Battlefield? Uh, yeah, it's alright. I mean, it looks great, but I just don't play games as much. Um, I mean, the only game that I was playing a lot of was Overwatch, but even that I didn't haven't played it for a while. Hey, what is your GPU you're using? Um, I think it's the 980. It's the, pretty, it's the, the second biggest one that NVIDIA got going on. Anthony, you thought about doing a Stranger Things creature? I thought you thought of you when I saw the behind the scenes of CGI. I heard you mentioned it last night. Oh yeah, I, I love that movie, man. And I, the the creature design, um, I think could have been better. I mean, I'm not sure who designed it. I'm sure it was one of my buddies or someone that I know or someone that I know knows. But uh, I'm not gonna knock on it too much. But it just was a. Uh, it was fine, right? Like, it it didn't matter because the show was so good and the creature was kind of supposed to be kind of like, you don't see it often anyway. It's really about the story of the, the, the people that are involved from like the brothers to the, the young, his friends to the girl to the mom to the sheriff is like all that stuff. And then the monster's just kind of an afterthought, right? It's just, it just represents kind of the drama. Uh, but it could have been creepier. You know what I mean? Like, uh, it felt like it wasn't as creepy as it could have been. Um, but I, I don't want to spoil too much for anyone who hasn't seen the show, but, yeah, it's... You, I, I, if you've seen it, some of you guys might know what I mean, right? Like, it, after watching it, like, you might understand where I'm coming from. I don't know anybody that was like, dude, that creature design, like, lost their mind over it. I know everyone's losing their mind over the show, which they should, because the show's great. But uh, I was just like, yeah, it's cool, it's cool. Uh, what's up, Tyson? What's up, Nick? Oh man, all kinds of cool people are up in here. Yeah, I mean, too, but still had the Jones look. Yeah, it, I, I guess so. Like tumor face monsters. It's fun. It's ironic that I might be bagging on it <laughs> if it's like very similar to stuff I do. Yeah, I, I want to watch it a second time too. Oh yeah, you're welcome, Shelton. Topi, what's up, man? Camila, Camilio, Camelia. It seems like everyone uses 3D coat and Z, uh, ZBrush. Have you planned played with Mudbox? I have. Yes. Do you guys recommend the Art Institute? No. Do not go to the Art Institute. That is where I went. And uh, the only good thing about Art Institute was that I made some of the closest friends I still have today. But you could do that, you know, in, like, a variety of ways. So I, I, I don't think that Art Institute is, like, it's worth that. Like, it's pretty expensive just to make some really some good friends, but I, again, I, I mean, the friends I made are some of the best people I've ever met in my life, so, you know, it's, it's one of those things that if you just go to a physical school, uh, you're bound to meet people that are very like-minded, um, and especially if you're going for, like, concept art, which is a very niche crowd, people who already know that field, yeah, it's going to be much easier to get along with those people. And usually those types of people have very similar interests. So again, it's not going to be very difficult to make friends. Uh, I mean, you, you can just go to events and stuff like that and make certain kinds of acquaintances too. It's not a big deal to go to like one of these expensive schools. Uh, in fact, if you want to go to a physical school, um, I would highly recommend going to my good friends, the, brain, the Brainstorm guys, like John Park and James Pake School. It is a really good school. Uh, a lot of my students go there now. Um, 
and they're really, really killing it. They're getting so much better uh, every time I see their stuff. And it's it's really, you know, structured very well uh, because you have John Park and James, and both of those guys are like, you know, Art Center alumni, and they're really smart guys, and they have really um, good teachers. So I highly recommend that. And a lot of those teachers are some of my good friends, people I used to work with. So I know that they know what they're talking about. And there's like badasses that go to these schools too. Because they're like all in LA. But if you can't move out down there, then, you know, I get it. But I have like, I have people that, uh, I have friends who are setting up a system where people who are from different parts of the world or country can like live out there in like the OC area. They're trying to set something up now and to help people out, which is really cool. Yeah. But, uh, you know, this ZBrush stuff is not, or this uh, 3D coat sculpting is actually not so bad. So you can probably tell it's, this is this is fine. Like, this is... This isn't, like, as... Um, this isn't as, like, difficult or impossibly, you know, different from something that I would do in ZBrush, which is nice. That's the best part of it. But there are things that I, I, I've grown accustomed to in ZBrush, but the question isn't so much, uh, is ZBrush better now? It's more like, am I just so accustomed to it that I can't? adjust and if that's the case then all I need to do then all I need to do is just keep messing with this tool until I feel a lot more comfortable with it but man it's pretty powerful and you can go back and forth from voxel to non voxel and there's something really nice about that and uh yeah check this out I can do I can do some creases and stuff in here too or was it? I think it was sharp. Sharp is the one that lets me get some good creases in here. And I like their smooth tool better than ZBrush's smooth. It's it works way better, or not better, way better. It just works the way that I expect it to, to work. Where the smooth tool in ZBrush is more of like an averagey thing, which I actually don't use the smooth tool ever. In ZBrush as much as I, as I know a lot of other people do, and it's because because of that simple reason. In fact, I usually use other brushes to smooth out. Like I like to use the Trim Dynamics brush to smooth instead of uh, the Smooth brush because I know that ZBrush is going to average it out, and it's not going to be averaged the way that I would want it to be averaged. But it's like with every tool, like you just gotta figure out kind of the things that you think are nice about it. And this is kind of my test. I like try to sculpt these kind of like weird looking monster thingies, just because it's it's easy to kind of get in here and just draw drawing tumors everywhere and wrinkles. I need to see what everyone's talking about. Sorry, let's see what's going on. What's up, Max? Hey, how does this thing work? Is commenting here live? Yeah, I can I can see what you guys... <laughs> I can see what you're talking about. I just was talking this whole time. Hey, what's up, Megan? What's up, Nicholas? Um, hey, I was hoping to see how you approach organic sculpting. This is great. Yeah, you're welcome, Elias. What's up, Max? Again, Alex. What's up again, Jarrett? Um... Yeah, it's, this has been around for a while. I just figured out that you can totally do this. Oh, really? It's morning over here for uh, Akshay. And then, oh my gosh, there's all these names. Rishi Raj? See you in No, man. I don't know how to say your name, but what's up, buddy? Malcolm? Hey, what's up, John? Love you too, man. Love you too. It, there's Tyson again saying hi. Tyson, do you know how to, you know how this works? This internet? Do you know how the internet works? 
the internet works this way, Tyson. You guys know Tyson Murphy? He's a really funny guy. He's one of my favorite peoples. We need to hang out way more than we do. Every time we get around, I like we have, I have a blast with this guy. Um, and one thing about Tyson too is that every time I log into Overwatch, the rare amount of times I do, I want to play with him. I'm just not as cool, man. He won't let he won't want to play with me. <laughs> he just does not like to play with the Jones. He just doesn't want to. I mean, it only literally only happened one time, but I it it tarnished our relationship somehow. That one instance, and uh, I don't know if I'll ever forgive you, man. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go to sleep soon too. Yeah, stop being so cool and play with me, Tyson. Jesus. Yeah, I'm gonna stop the stream pretty soon anyway. I was just gonna do a little. This is what I like. I was talking about in previous streams. If you watch, go back and watch some of them. I talk about how. Um, I do this often, I'll like just, you know, noodle or dick around in Photoshop or a software that I think is interesting and try stuff out. And I, th I thought, hey, you know, I'll do these streams on Facebook whenever I do that. And so you guys can experience it and we can all hang out. You guys can talk with each other, ask questions. Maybe I'll answer them, maybe I won't. It's no harm, no foul, right? We'll just hang out. And uh, yeah, so right now this is kind of where I'm about to call it quits. But like I said, this 3D coat's Organic sculpting is not as bad as you guys might think. So check out this rendering too. It's it's going to be pretty cool. The the rendering machine or the rendering uh, in 3D code has gotten better. So let's put on the real time rendering and look at this nasty skin looking thing. Now I knew it was going to be this way, so don't be surprised. I knew that because uh, it was using a shader that was that subsurface scattering on it. So I'm going to bring this down a bit. And then I'm going to add a light. I'm going to rotate this. Yeah, we'll do something like that. Then we'll add another light. Oh, dude, I keep doing that. I need to stop doing that. Alright. Sorry, I'm focusing on moving the light around. So I can create another room light. I will play <laughs> I will play with you anytime you want. I am so so sorry. <laughs> uh Augusto listening in, always been a big fan. Yeah, it's good to see you too. Yeah, ZBrush is good, man. I highly recommend still using ZBrush. And then Will, what's up Will? Hey Mike, what's up Mike? I'm just about to close out. I was hoping that you'd be here earlier, so I say, hey, you want to hang out for a second? But maybe next time, right? And then uh, Megan, good night AJ, great stuff. I'll play with the sculpting of 3D Coat soon. Yeah, I'd love to see it. Kind of looks like one of the silence of, one of the silence from Doctor Who. I never watched that show, so these references are going on deaf ears. Or ignorant ears. My ears are not deaf. But yeah, it's a pretty nasty looking thing. And the rendering it out of this is pretty good. It's pretty cool. And it's kind of cool to see this because then I can go back to the sculpt room. And, you know, realize, hey, you know, I want this to be deeper and nastier looking. I want more of this kind of like gross, kind of like weird empty like ugh, like this, those frog eggs have you seen those things like where the the, the back of the frog has like the freaking nasty ugh. like this type of stuff uh, there's a there's a name for this disease or not this disease but this phobia where like if you see like a, an assortment of just bumps like that are kind of random does anyone know if anyone knows put in the chat the name of this 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 phobia but I got it and it's ironic because like the kind of stuff I draw has this. Maybe it's a good way for me to overcome that phobia. But yeah, man, it's, it sucks. So I'm like having it uh, really bad right now. I'm like having that phobia hit me really hard. Yeah, uh, Rishi just said it. 
That is totally what it is. Ugh. If you Google like images that are referenced to that uh, and start looking at those images, come back and let us know if you also have that phobia. I absolutely do. Like, if I, I think if I'm creating creating it, it's not so bad. But it's like when I see it, like elsewhere, like bothers me really badly. And there is like a some science behind why it's, it's something about like um, certain insects have this pattern, and it's like a survival mechanism for some of us to kind of like be afraid of that. I don't know, I could be making that last part up. But the phobia is not, that's that's a real phobia. But whether it's like biologically linked to like survival, uh, I mean most most weird things are. Right, like yawning. Um, if you yawn and then someone yawns next to you, uh, you won't yawn if it's a complete stranger that you have no empathy for. But if it's someone that you have empathy for, like or compassion for, like someone you love or someone you care for, or your friend or something, and then they yawn, you'll yawn. Uh, because it's a it's a demonstration of compassion. It's like a social thing, which is interesting. All right. So now that I've decided that this is way more gross, I'm gonna go ahead and see what it looks like in the render room. Yeah, shall we? And then I'm gonna call it quits, guys. Oh God! <laughs> oh man! Ugh, even my dog's freaking out. You guys hear him? He's like, oh, what the hell is that? Kill it! Kill it! Or it's probably my wife coming home. <laughs> um, anyways, what's up, Iron Cutter? Uh, I just mentioned this in the beginning of the stream. I, I might not, um, just because, like, I need to rest and do work. But, anyways, <laughs> kill it with fire. Murder it with with fire anywho thanks guys for hanging out and enjoying um, this grotesque sculpt that I did in uh, 3D coat it was a lot of fun to do it it, sh it shows that I can really create some interesting uh, I actually like this kind of design I think I might create like some sort of series of characters or monsters someone suggested like maybe doing something le less hard, sur hard surface so that's why I did this so maybe making like some sort of a uh, character design that's a lot along the lines of like like this because this is a lot of fun to look at too. I kind of enjoy what this is, <laughs> and maybe make some sort of like weird army of people that look like this and give them some body armor and stuff like that, and stuff like this and stuff like that. Yeah, Demi Gorgon, Demi Gorgon for days. Peace out, though, friends. Thanks again for enjoying and hanging out and talking with me. I appreciate y'all. Good night. Good morning. Good evening. Good afternoon. Whatever. And for those of you who don't realize that this is not live anymore, it's all good. Maybe catch me on the next one. Laters. <laughs>